thinks I'm a little lazy. I think she's a little crazy. We like summer and we like spring. Watching wrestling and rain. She ain't shy, she speaks her mind. Tough as nails and smooth as wine. We burn hot as kerosene. Baby, we got our own thing. She ain't skinny and I ain't tall. And that don't bother us at all. I run naked through the yard. She flash it at police car. Drinking wine and getting tired. And shooting out the damn street lights. How does she pull up with me? Oh, baby, we got our own thing. We got our own thing. We don't need no rain We ain't rich but son of a We're a hillbilly king and queen Life don't seem so hard With you to meet the stars Cause we're growing four leaf clovers in the yard Hi there everybody, welcome to the channel uh, We're having a little redemption day here on the lake If you've seen uh, last week's video of the white caps and the waves and everything you'll see that uh, it was not an ideal day out. So, we've come back to Lake Arthur to try again, and today we're starting off at McDaniel's boat launch. And we're gonna go up towards the Hidden River, the little creek up there, and then we're gonna circle back around towards the launch and then go north in another part of the finger, so. We're going to cover about two and a half, three miles of water, and we'll see what we come across. We've already got the camera set up for the exposure for the day and uh, photo and video. We're starting out today at uh, 16 hundredths of a second, F63, and ISO 2500. There's like no real waves on the lake today, so that's kind of nice. It is very shallow today. The lake is very shallow. There's not much water in it for uh, unknown reasons, most likely because we haven't gotten any rain for the past month. And it's been a very lackluster uh, winter. I think the most I've seen in my driveway is maybe two or three inches at one time, and that was probably about it. So for the weather today, it's uh, currently overcast. 35 degrees, very, very light winds. <laughs> we are absolutely surrounded by seagulls. One thing I really don't like photographing is seagulls. But there's some kind of duck. We've got buffleheads coming across right now. So, that's a good start. We have some hooded mergansers down here in the water. A pair of two. We're only on speed one with the motor, so we're going to see if we can't kind of cruise into there. Such a pretty duck, too. Every time I come here, the kingfisher's on the same branch. Oh, ducks! A lot of hooded mergansers around here right now. Crow trying to tell everybody that I'm here. Not so nice of him. We got some Canadian geese down here. Canada geese. I keep falling into the trope of saying the most annoying way possible to say Canada geese. They're not Canadian, they're Canada. It's a shame I have to use such high ISO today. We're heading back into the Hidden River area right now. and Not sure how far we'll be able to go. Probably not very far because it looks very, very shallow. Probably just at the entrance here by this uh, rock wall. Yeah, we ain't going to fit back in there. There's barely enough water to even call that a creek right now. Now that we're going into the wind, a little chilly. Normally I'd try and hug the bank 
stay out of the wind and the waves, but the bank's like, you know, six feet out. Got a little bit of sun trying to peek out, so that would, that's going to be nice if that happens. Do you see some blue sky in the distance? Let me use something higher than ISO 2000. Crow is carrying something. A rock or maybe a shellfish? I don't know what it was. That was unexpected. Now I'm only trying to use uh, speed one or two in the motor to get the most out of the battery today, so we'll see how, how well it works here. Hopefully at the end here I'll to hit something so shallow hopefully at the end here I'll have a little map showing where all the pictures were taken on the uh, on Lightroom Same species as a uh, species tree as uh, crows, they're corvids, so they're very smart. I don't like my fat butt getting out right here. Okay, so further up that way is McDaniels where we launched. Here's the breast of the dam. The kayak. And here is the exposed sandbar. A bunch of geese taken off over there. All of the uh, seagulls on the sandbar. It's kind of wild seeing it this uh, barren. Yeah, we're gonna cut through here, back around, go up through the lake, see what else we see. Ooh. Need something better than a cell phone for this. And of course, behind us. There's the 422 bridge. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, back in the boat. Let's try and get around the sand. Yeah, 
figured that. Too shallow. Old fashioned way. I might have to get out and drag the kayak. Yep, we're gonna have to portage it. your paddles. Away we go. The sandbar for I guess a lot of people every year, even the summer with regular boats. I know a few people that have gotten stuck. Well, at least with the wind to our back, it's a little, a little warmer. And we're using less power on the motor. Right now we're cruising past the uh, first um, cabin. What did the merganser just flew over top? practice your shots though even if it's a subject you don't like. <laughs> Random underwater things about you to make it crap your pants. So we're rounding the corner here and we're about to go up the cove towards the bike trail. If it's not on the map, it's the left side of where the cabins are, so... Hopefully we see something here. It's been pretty, pretty quiet lately. We're back in this little tiny cove by the very first cabin on the loop. And there's still ice along the bank here. We're trying to skirt around. I'll probably have to turn into it to turn around, so... Let's see how that works. So we've made it into the northernmost uh, arm of the lake. I think the bike trail kind of wraps around this part. And it's so calm here. There's no waves in the water. It's super quiet. I honestly thought that I would find some birds here. Besides crows that are making a ruckus. I really feel like this is going to be a hot spot area because it's so calm, there's nobody here, there's no waves, there's no noise. I guess we'll see in a couple months. I got excited thinking there was something, but you know, it's just geese. video today is shot in 4k 120dx mode so got about 1300 millimeters of reach in the video Kingfisher's 
got some kind of dance of the water together. I guess we're going to stop right here and watch. A pair of prison regansers just flew over, but I've been having to spare the GoPro. So that I don't drain the battery before we're done here, because I've already gone through one battery and I have like maybe 20% of this one left, so. Okay, we're almost at the, uh, the tip of the lake up here, so we're going to turn around and head back. Uh, so the last ditch effort at the tip of the northern part of the lake over here on the north shore. There is a pair of hooded mergansers, maybe more than a pair, it's hard to tell this distance. So hopefully we can uh, snatch a few shots. Really? Well, we got a couple okay shots of them, so I'll take that as a win. There's some more down there, but got a whole bunch of weeds on the front right now. A couple more down here. I'm praying I can get a shot of them cupping, taking off towards us, and filling the frame. So I had to tilt the motor and it's getting a little warm. We're in a lot of weeds now, so I tilted it to kind of help mitigate the weed problem. But right in front of us, there is a pileated woodpecker on a tree, so that's pretty sweet. You get, take advantage of the rare opportunity of a pileated woodpecker. Well, seeing that uh, pileated woodpecker was super cool. Totally glad that I came up to this very tip top of the lake. Now it's time to attempt to motor back and hopefully the battery and the GoPro and the motor last. But for this first bit, we are left to our own devices because it is like maybe two inches deep. <laughs> that pileated woodpecker is just flying around up there, going tree to tree looking for some grubs. Man, I wish there was more water so I can get out there and look. Get a little closer. I tried stepping out of the kayak in this one inch deep water and uh, it's just mucked. I was gonna lose my eyes. Just stumbled across what looked like uh, like a muskrat den into the bank. That's kind of neat. You don't usually see that, but the water's down pretty far, so they're all kind of exposed. turn because we just came across a bald eagle. I'm just going to sit here and see what he does. I don't think he's going to come back. I got him to pop up a couple shots of him as he flew over. Yeah, the eagle didn't come back, so we're heading back towards the launch to end the day. And I'm dangerously close to running out of battery here on the on the GoPro. So if anybody wants to support the channel and uh, help me buy another GoPro battery, uh, I take uh, PayPal donations. I sell Man's Woodland Perspective uh, shirts and hoodies through Bonfire. Links are all in the description for that. I also sell stickers with the MWP logo on them if you want that. If you're into, into stickers for your car, or, you know, laptop, whatever. And if you want any kind of uh, prints made, you can email me at mans.woodland.perspective at gmail.com. That's also in the description. Or 
use any of the Amazon links and I get a couple percent kickback of whatever you buy through the Amazon um, partnership program, affiliate program. So enough of me being a shill. Let's, uh, let's finish today and hope we get something else. Okay, so I just tried something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. It is panning shots with a low shutter speed on birds in flight. I have no idea if that came out or not, but uh, we're going to find out. It was a little far away, so I'll probably have to do some cropping, but uh, we'll see. I just shot at a bird skimming the water. Uh, uh, Hooded Morganser, 1 80th of a second, F16, because I don't have a 95mm ND for this, ASO 64 at 20 FPS, which is a little bit slower than 20 FPS because the exposure time is kind of slow. So hopefully it turns out, and it might be something that I start practicing to uh, specialize and give a different look to my photos in the future. So. I've always been afraid to do it. So never going to succeed if you stay afraid of something. Coming up on the McDaniels boat launch, where I usually see herons sitting, there's much close. On a, all in all, today is a pretty successful day out in the kayak. And we covered a lot of ground, pretty happy with it, the motor's still going strong. Well, if you like the video and you want to see more kayak action in the future, especially come the uh, springtime, like April, I might go out once or twice at least in April, check out the uh, migrations during the waterfowl flyway here at Marine. And uh, subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment down below if you see anything you enjoy. And until next time, happy shooting. I'll see you out there. Bye.